Hello YouTubers, Beer Geeks and Beer Hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay, uh, we got one here from Stone and it's uh, Frighteningly Fresh. It's from their Enjoy By series and the Enjoy By date is 10-31-22, Halloween. So they say it's a hazy IPA coming in at a 9.4% alcohol by volume. Um, let's see if there's any other literature here. That you need to know about. Well, don't see any other literature here. And uh, it was um, canned on a 9-19-22, so it's like 11 days old. And uh, this is what the can looks like. I picked up um, six 12-ounce cans from Total Wine and More for like 15 bucks out the door. So as long as it's good, that's a fair deal. So yeah, let's check it out. So far it doesn't look too hazy. Slightly hazy maybe. The uh, Enjoy By series has been kind of hit and miss with me. Um, I don't know, they kind of are starting to all kind of taste the same to me. Okay. I still like Stone though. I think they're making good beer still. So we have a medium tight looking head, frothy, creamy, silky and uh, we have a haze, pretty hazy kind of copperish amber color definitely can see the sharpness of the light through it though it's not like a, a hazy hazy per se it's like a slightly hazy IPA, it looks like a Westy to me still but it does have some haze to it though, it's not like totally clear. I don't think it's hazy enough to be called a hazy, put it that way. I think it should just be a regular West Coast Imperial Double IPA, as you can see. Let's check out the aroma. Last train home. Getting some pine, getting a nice little malty sweetness coming through also. Slight caramel maybe. Pine, slight floral, slight, you know, sweetness, malty sweetness coming through. It smells pretty good though, but uh, it does smell like a Westie. Let's get a hit. Cheers. tasty that's for sure slight uh, earthy kind of note coming through there but mostly I'd say pine that's good for 9.4 percent that's the alcohol is hidden very well but I think um, I wouldn't be calling it a hazy IPA if it was me, but I'm not them, and they're not me. I'm not a brewer either, just a drinker. Really nice creamy mouthfeel, nice lacing on the glass there. Very, very nice malt backbone to this puppy. Pretty damn tasty though. Pretty darn good. IBU's up there though. I think it's at least 70. It's their Halloween one. Pretty cool. Um, so far it's pretty darn tasty. Uh, enjoying it. So um, I'm going to sip on it for a little bit. See if I can pinpoint some notes and I'll be right back.
Kiembeck. Yummy beer. Definitely a yummy beer. So, I'm going to swirl it one more time. We'll wrap this puppy up. It's almost like a molasses note. Yeah, almost, or like a, almost like a kind of a maple or something like maple or something like that. Kind of oaky or something. I don't know, but it's just good beer. Definitely. Would I buy it again for 15 bucks and tasting like this? Probably would, yes. It's just good. It's good. Look, but if this one gets past that enjoy bite date, it's going to get pretty sweet because of the, the high ABV and, um, you know, 9.4%. It's going to get sweet. It's going to be a malt bomb. Once the hops diminish to a certain point, pine, malt, kind of molasses or maple, oaky, I don't know, but it's damn good. It's got a medium, almost heavy mouthfeel. Uh, no booziness at all. Uh, it's a pretty banging beer. I don't know if I'd call it a hazy, but. Um, that's what they're calling it. So um, on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half being C average, I'm going to give this a solid 4.5. It's pretty damn tasty. Uh, one of the better ones from the Enjoy By series in a minute. Uh, not the best one I've had though by far, but damn, pretty damn good. So if you get the Enjoy By 1031 22, get it as soon as you can because the fresher the better. So that's my story on that. I'll stick with that and you all have a great day night, morning, wherever you're at, and we'll catch you later, okay? You know what to do. See ya.